There's a lot of speculation tonight about who will be Kamala Harris's running mate if she secures the Democratic nomination. More than a dozen names are being discussed. Among them, Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. And CBS Philadelphia's Liz Crawford joins us now with more on Shapiro's path to prominence. The Keystone State is a key battleground state, thrusting Governor Josh Shapiro into the national spotlight. 51-year-old Shapiro, the 48th governor of Pennsylvania, is serving his first term. He's become a rising Democratic star and was commended last year for his swift handling of the I-95 bridge collapse. We get done. Of course we're from Pennsylvania. And the capture of escaped murderer Danello Calvacante after 14 days on the run. Most recently, he's been involved in press briefings in the investigation into the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump, which happened in Butler, Pennsylvania. Shapiro grew up in Montgomery County, PA, and began his political career as a state representative in Harrisburg. He went on to become chairman of the Board of Commissioners in Montgomery County. In 2016, Josh Shapiro was elected Pennsylvania's attorney general. During his time in office, he gained national attention when he exposed child sex abuse cover-up cases by the Catholic Church in Pennsylvania, identifying hundreds of predator priests and thousands of victims. And the men of God who were responsible for them not only did nothing, they hid it all. In 2021, he was sworn in for a second term as attorney general, and a year later, he became governor. Solemnly swear. He cruised to victory, getting 56 percent of the vote. Shapiro is seen as a moderate Democrat who ran on key issues such as protecting LGBTQ rights and reproductive rights. Many believe the governor could have his eyes on Washington. However, back in May, Shapiro said this in an exclusive interview with CBS News Philadelphia. No, listen, man, I'm governor and I'm proud to be governor. And God willing, I'm going to be governor for a long time, as long as the good people of Pennsylvania will continue to have me. I got a lot of work to do here and I'm focused on doing that work. Now, hours after Joe Biden dropped out of the race yesterday, Shapiro endorsed Harris for president, saying in a tweet that he's known her for two decades and she's a patriot worthy of support and ready to be president. So Liz, who are some of the other Democrats getting a look-see for the second in command position? Well, I'll tell you what, Yuki, there's at least a dozen names being thrown around right now, including Governor Gretchen Whitmer out of Michigan. So at 52 years old, she's serving her second term there. The state of Michigan, by the way, key to Biden's victory in 2020. Now, Governor Gavin Newsom, another name in the spotlight. Now, he's become a huge force for the Democratic Party, but being that like Kamala Harris, he's from California, makes it less likely the two will team up together. Another blue state governor in the spotlight right now, J.B. Pritzker from Illinois, the 59 year old's family started the Hyatt Hotel Empire and he comes with deep pockets to self fund a campaign. Over the years, Pritzker has become one of President Trump's biggest enemies. Yuki? Mm. We'll be keeping our eye on it. Thank you, Liz.